What is up, everybody? It's Mr. Energy here. Today we are back once again on Subnautica, and today we are going to be building a a few things actually. Now this is kind of odd. I just looked in here and it says Cyclops is two thirds of the way finished, but I have the ability to build it, and I have the engine blueprint, the Cyclops bridge, and the hull blueprint. So I have everything. Hopefully, it won't let me uh, won't uh, glitch out on me on that. Oh, uh, but the last thing I need to do, let's see here, I gotta look at my storage real quick. Um, I need enough room. I'll probably drop my oxygen tanks for just a second because I need to grab my mobile bay, which, yeah, is in here. Cyclops, come here right up. Holy cow, that thing is huge. <laughs> Whoa. Cyclops is designed to operate a three-person crew. Oh, only experienced helms should uh, proceed. Okay. Well, this is my new base. Um, I'm actually really excited to see what I can do with this because I'm pretty sure I can put everything I need to in that base except for a moon pool. Um, that is something I do need to build just before I leave on the Cyclops. I'll take this back. Actually, whoa. Okay, I can't see when I do that. There it is. I'm like, where's the Cyclops? <laughs> Couldn't see in front of me. All right. I'm going to go in here. And welcome hello. Aboard, Captain. Well, this welcome aboard me. Line. Well, thank you. Wow. This place is so much bigger than I remember. <laughs> but anywho, I'm going to grab the... Uh, whoa. That's right. I have a lot of things in here. It is loud in here. I guess it's the engine room. That's kind of why. But... I'm going to grab uh, my Seamoth and put him in here, and then I'm going to actually move some other things around. But the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to build a uh, a power cell charger, which is kind of ironic that, you know, you can charge power cells in a thing that's run by power cells and without using any power, I'm pretty sure. At least last time I tried it, that's the way it works. But, you know, it kind of been handy for me, so I'm going to put it right here for now. Um, I may move it later. Um, I'll be moving a few things around. I don't have any titanium. Oh, because I destroyed... Okay. I, I, I took the titanium out of me. I wonder why I had titanium on me. I gotta get the titanium and then... Uh, get started on everything else. Also, I'm gonna put in the moon pool about right here-ish or wherever I can because I need to... Oop, that's not what I need to do. I need to uh, build some upgrades inside of there and for some reason you can't do it inside of the Cyclops. So, titanium should be here. Is there anything else I need titanium for? Let's see here. I need titanium for this. Do I need titanium for that? Yes, I do. Okay. So, I need ti for titanium. All right. Go it up. I'm really a fan of that that uh, purple coral uh, brain thing. It's really kind of cool. Um, I love that you can grow them. That's like infinite oxygen anywhere I want to go. Anywhere I want to go. As deep as I want to go. If I could speak English. Alright, so, um, to finish this off. Uh, there. Wrong button. Alright, that is finished. I think I have a power cell on me, right? Yes, it's 34%. So I'll finish that one off. Um... These are all full, it looks like. Jeez, it is loud in there. Okay. And then, I need to build a modification station, which... I don't know where to put it right now. I want to put a garden right here. I always put a garden here, because I like it in this spot. Um, so, I'll leave that open for the garden. Maybe if I put it like... Uh, Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll put it right here. It seems like a decent spot to put it. Oh, I could put I could put lockers on top of the other lockers. That's actually kind of funny. I wonder if I could put the gravel sphere inside of the inside of this. If I could do that, that means I could just drive around and pretty much have like a uh a tractor beam <laughs> everywhere I go, just picking up everything I go by. That is an awesome question. I, I'm going to see if that, that works. 
I'm gonna put it like right here if I can. All right, five. Can I drop item here? Use, <laughs> dang it, <laughs> use storage containers instead. See, that would have been great, but you know. Okay. So, um, first things first, I probably should build that fabricator, which I think, since the fabricator could work right here, I, I'll just do it right here. <laughs> All right, fabricator, and that actually is a really nice spot, although it's floating, but I'm not going to worry about that because it's kind of cool looking either way. So, here's the fabricator, um, Cyclops structure. Compensator, and there is the uh, other compensators. MK35. Actually, I might be able to build that in good time. All right, what else was I going to do? I was going to use titanium to make my grow bed. Oh, is that off center? Ah, it's off center. Ah, oh, it bugs me so much. <laughs> Let's see here. I think that's on center. I don't know why it's such a big deal to me, but I like it when things are uh, centered. So, you know, call me weird. Uh, I got two of those growing. I need to go get some things for water. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to grab this. All right, which way is straight? This way is straight. So I need to go down why can I see those <laughs> I can see my lockers through the wall that's actually kind of cool but at the same point it's like why why okay I can't see him oh I can still see him why can I see huh that is the oddest thing. Maybe it's like a glitch or something. All right, yeah, I can't see him out here, but in in the uh, in the submarine, I can. That's so odd. Okay. Anywho, um, I need to get some more water-based things. Um, and this is food, which I guess I'll take with me. Food. Um, anything in there? Nothing in there. All right. So I need to start taking all the supplies out. And I think I will start by taking these two wall lockers and reconstructing them out there in the Cyclops. Okay, higher capacity air tanks. Okay, so what does that bring me up by? Brings me up by 30 each one. Hmm, inter interesting. High capacity air tank goes here so if I have a lot of titanium I could really bring up my uh, my air way through the roof which is good now I need to go out here get my sea moth where's my sea moth oh fudge the frickin heck dude what is with these dumb stalkers emergency severe dehydration detected I know that is why I'm going fish aid Welcome aboard me. Good. All right. So, I got a lot of stuff, which is good. I got a lot of food mainly. That's kind of what I was after for the most part. Um, but I also got that uh, coral for the, uh, if I mix it with salt, I get a lot of water. And that's what I need. As you can see, they keep biting me in the butt. They're any fun. Heal up a little bit, but not enough to really do much. Um, and I must have dropped my quartz. Oh, I needed that quartz probably more than pretty much everything else in my inventory. Well, whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to just open the storage and kind of shove everything I can in there until I don't really need stuff. Let's see here. Flares don't really need that. Oh, bladder fish. I didn't need those. Um, I'll put all this common coral in here, I guess. That, what, two more? Okay. I'll just put them in here. That'll be my kind of water supply for right now. 
I need to get water. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Okay, there we go. Food will be easy enough, I guess, in good time. Because I do, I do have that. Uh, I have this for my food, so I mean, it's not really that hard to get food up <laughs> that quickly. Like, look at that. Full food, full water. That was so easy. All I had to have is those things, and then the bubble tree eventually I will be using too. But, all that being done said, I also need um, more titanium and more of the uh, quartz. Which, of course, I'm going to have to go back in here to get that fixed up. So, i got to find a place... Oh my god, seriously, stop trying to bite me every time I come out of my ship. That's the way this works. I get healed up and you just bite me in the butt every 10 seconds. See so yeah, how you like it, huh? Is he dead? Oh, that is great. I actually managed to murder him. Stop biting me so much and I will murder you. Okay, how are we doing on this power? That power is completely full, which is good. It means I can replace it out. Now I got full power once again. And put this in here. I think that is the coolest little little thing. Uh, I know it's kind of like a little glitch, but at the same point, it's infinite power in here. All you have to have is a power cell charger, which is great. All right, I need to make this titanium. One, two, I think just three of these, right? And then I'm going to go in here and make uh, some more high capacity tanks. Two hundred twenty-five. Jeez. Two hundred eighty-five seconds underwater. I will like never die from oxygen. <laughs> At least I hope I don't. That, that would be hilarious if I actually died from oxygen because I thought I could live underwater for forever. I know today's episode is a little bit less uh, exciting. All we really did was just kind of build a uh, cyclops. And the modification station will be kind of fun because I am going to be building more things for it. As soon as I can, I just got to get all the resources I need to get started with things. Also, this bubble tree. I love this thing. Ten water. Yes, please. There we go. I'm finally back where I belong on water. And then eat one of these. And there. Now my food and water source is completely fixed. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now all I gotta do is figure out how I'm gonna keep myself from getting bit in the butt by those dang stalkers. But that will happen in its good its own good time. So, thanks again for watching. Make sure to leave a double thumbs up down below if you like to see. And uh yeah. I'll see you in the next one. And I, I'll see what I can do as far as um, building some extra um, pots and stuff like that. I don't know exactly what I can put in here. I have a lot of room to work with. Um, but I do need to get into a moon pool at some point because the moon pool is what's going to really get me um, the upgrades I'm looking for. So I'll probably put the moon pool up in the next episode and then we'll look around deeper and see exactly what we can find. So until next time, I'll see you. Bye-bye.